Goge Wathiongo, who is perhaps one of the best known living African authors, Ngugi's vision was that there would be a library in every village in the world. So, so people don't really struggle to access information. You know, knowledge is power. When the community is enlightened and they have information, a lot can happen. The life that any human being lives is shaped by the books you read and the people you meet. Kids get the opportunity to vicariously live in someone else's shoes. That's what literature does. Be in Australia in the morning, you're in Hong Kong in the afternoon, evening you're having dinner in South Africa. When you wake up again, you're in the United States, travel the world through books. When they read, they learn about things they had never thought were possible, but now they are possible. That seed is now planted. Columbia right now operates in Busia County, which is one of the poorest counties in, in Kenya. It's in Western Kenya. They're struggling. Uh, it's, it's a very poor area. It's rural. And yet Kowimbi in the center of that is pretty revolutionary because kids don't have that kind of opportunity anywhere nearby. Our vehicle is a community center that has a library. It has a museum. It has vocational programs, it has internet access, it has many, many books. So that's the vehicle. But Kiwimbi is a group of people from many parts of the world who have a dramatic passion for helping other people. That education is the key to a better future. Yeah, you never know. You can have all the best intentions in the world. And uh, sure, you can you can put up a shingle and say, Kiwimbi, you know, here's a library and we're open the open the door and then you never know like maybe no one shows up children come in waves to kiwimi it it is just a place where everybody comes to. yes thousands of people are coming and the library i was always there after school during the weekends i always came to kiwimi a lot of people live in small areas, in huts. And if you want to read, you don't have a table. Um, you can have your friends really visit you in the house. So what Kiwimbi does is a meeting point for the children. And for the girls, an escape from the chores in their house. So the kids can be kids at the library because we have uh, soccer, we have basketball, we have a lot of things. It's fun. It's really like going to um, an arcade in the U.S. <laughs> the very first time I went to Kiwimbi, I I could never have imagined that it would have become what it is today. If I place myself in the beginning of Kiwimbi, the first year, I don't even recognize myself. Leave alone Kiwimbi. Oh, it's really expanding, like dramatically expanding. Kiwimbi has grown and it's for free. So it has happened in a very positive, dramatic way. It's an exciting way. We're able to, uh, to actually run programs that, that bring tears to your eyes. And then we're able to see the impact. We're able to see hundreds of kids do better at school. Kiwimbi has really impacted that so many people. From a few hundred to over 50,000. So it's expanding, it's dynamic, um, and, it has, and there are a lot of conversations around it and what it means and how to help people. It's all about what we can provide educationally that will help people make a better life for themselves and make the life for themselves that they want. But it ends up being again a human relationship in which many of those who give end up feeling that they also receive and many of those who receive also end up giving. 
I, I get more than I give. You know, you would think that I'm giving a lot. Mm-mm. It's made me a better wife, a better mother, a better human being, period. But for Kiwimbi, it has powered its success. Now Kiwimbi is run mostly by our alumni, the children who started out as high schoolers. They are back running the organization and moving on to bigger, better things. Before I go for my PhD, yes, I have to come back and say thank you to Kiwimbi because this is where it all started. This is where I was, I learned about masters. This is where I learned about PhD. And on top of that, this is where I was given the shoulder to stand on. That's where today you can see me as a graduate of laser physics. It's here that I got the shoulder to stand on. So before I could do anything else, I have to come back and say thank you. See that? So my coming back will say a big thank you to Kiwimbi for helping me achieve what I have done today. And then I know, of course, when my PhD program begins, I will exit. But now when I come back after the PhD, I'll also have enough resources that I can support. So my hope is sure that Kiwimbi will survive the next 100 years. There's a child, Derek. Derek is in our first video, the Kiwimbi video. And uh, he's a, he looks like a little, a little elf uh, with, um, with his teeth still growing. And I see him coming from the university. I just show, saw him a few days ago. And, you know, you have to really look to see the little elf in there. He's still there when he smiles, but now he's a grown man. And I can tell now that from that little boy who used to come to try and get some lunch, uh, so he used to sneak in and just be cute as he can be just so we can let him stay. And now he's a part and parcel of our most successful alumni, a tall, pretty dude who comes back to uh, help us out. And I can see that joy is still there, that love for Kiwimbi is still there. And I can tell that we never call him, he comes. And I think that's why we actually have stayed this long. The warmth, the warmth of the community. When I was first thinking about Columbia, I was thinking about us bringing something to them, but they are part of Columbia. Um, the, the, the local community is Columbia. It, it really is driven from the ground up. The impact of that is that the enthusiasm and the excitement about Columbia is genuine and it's theirs. Even though we are running, um, we, we try to run a very well oiled organization so we can have good outcomes, there is a sense of family. And we love each other. There's a love there, there's warmth, it's fun. <laughs> It's a very high energy, um, a positive vibe, just a beehive of, of activity. And, and we've seen some other organizations in the area, and you just don't see that same level of energy. Everybody is so happy, enthusiasm and embracing uh, potential. And the love of learning and the love of reading is clearly noticeable. And just finding some boy taking care of cows is a herdsman that is carrying a book which is quite unique and this is a book that he borrowed from Kiwimbi. We want you to, to learn how to do things. We want you to learn how to farm. We want you to learn how to succeed in school. We want you to learn how to continually expand your mind. We want you to become an expert in learning. So in many ways we're not really giving a fish. We're showing people how to fish. We're showing people how to learn. We're showing people the power of education and we're showing people the importance of posing to think about what skills might make their lives more sort of more meaningful or what skills might make them more employable or more entrepreneurial. We are finding people who have skill and interest to learn, who have, who have interest to grow in life. And here is Kiwimbi is coming with the same interest. It wants to help people grow. And this, at the same time, Kiwimbi also wants to grow and have more of its effect being felt in the community. So it's like a wave because, I, okay, I've learned physics is that when you have a wave knocking another wave, there's amplification that happens. 
So that's actually exactly what's happening. We have had 10 years of beginning. Now we need 10 years of soaring. We are having to reimagine and re-envision the next 10 years. Um, even if somebody brought 20 new teachers, we wouldn't change direction. We would empower what we're already doing and do it better. The last few trips, it's really hit me uh, that this could really be big, that the potential here for Quimby is really unlimited. There's so much potential. There's so much that can be done. We've done so much already, but we can add to that. So th this is work that gives us in Kiwimbi, not just me, but my friends and colleagues and supporters of Kiwimbi, really a deep sense of what it means to be you and what it means to live a purposeful life. I think Kiwimbi is helping this community realize its own dreams. With the education comes the knowledge of what is possible. Life is now possible. Yeah, life is possible. Now we can see the end of the tunnel, which has light. You see the ripples that we throw followed by and lean, but now it is the entire community. The entire county is feeling the impact of human being. So I'm really happy for that. And I know Kiwimbi will keep growing and we will keep moving forward with it. Thank you so much. Knowledge is power. Libraries are storehouses of immense knowledge gathered from every corner of the globe. Libraries don't exist in rural Africa. The majority of the population has no access to any library. The working people of Africa need continuous empowerment through knowledge. Why not open this fountain of empowerment to the majority. Thank you.